if this was drawn, by the way, it uh, will be penalties. Wedge shot, which is what happened last year when Forest beat Manchester United. But can somebody prevent that from uh, being the way that it should be decided? It's been a high-scoring night overall, so perhaps we can reasonably expect more goals as the second half wears on. Lee Byrne for Charlton. And now number four, David Campbell. Lee Burns coming in from the far side. Tackled by Pierce. Nottingham Forest's turn now to build up. England International. Neil Webb across to Franz Carr. Pierce is joining the attack now, running onto it. Good effort. Oh, and there's Gainer. Boulder doing well again. Oh, and back on his far as Pierce, Bob Boulder. Pierce is shot, and David Campbell able to get in the way this time. That's a good pass to Andy Peake. That's not bad either to Lieburn. Peter Shirtley. On by Mortimer. This is still Mortimer. And this, oh, it went under Lee Burns' foot. It was an opportunity for him there. Still might be. Shirtliff, Peak, Campbell, Andy Peak again. Here's Lee Byrne. Mortimer's in the middle. Back again to Shirtliff. Charlton just probing for the opening with four minutes to go Shirtliff and finally Neil Webb is in but not for long because Charlton regained possession immediately Andy Peak shot Shirtliff Lieburn great stop oh splendid stuff by Steve Sutton Gaynor oh, Tommy Gaynor did awfully well there Franz Carr they crowded him out Campbell. There's Lieburn, the target man again for Charles, and up against Darren Wassell. Well, Charlton are having more of the game, there's no doubt about that. This is Shirtliff. He's got it. And the team that Lenny Lawrence has brought here are back in the lead through their captain. Peter Shirtliff, who steered that under the legs, through the legs and under the body of Steve Sutton. Substitutions being made. Franz Carr. Just over three minutes. Charlton Athletic two, Nottingham Forest one. Carr for Forest. Des Walker is back on the arena, even though he was injured in the first half. And it's a break on the far side by John Humphrey. Now, can Forrest, the defending champion, save their crown here? It's Carr on the ball, it's Webb making the forward run. <laughs> He's a little anxious now. Peak. Is the Guinness Trophy going to go down to South East London? That was a good ball out to peak by Bennett. And it's Bennett again. There goes Lee Byrne. Oh, he's in there, and Bennett's waiting. He's there. Oh, again Sutton Bennett. And Steve Sutton performing heroics, which he did last year too here. This is uh, Gaynor. Last two minutes now. Carr, Forrest still 2 1 down. Gaynor. Oh, he's gone past Shirtliff. And a good stop by Boulder this time. They're looking up anxiously, charging at the clock, which everybody in the arena can see. It's a corner to Nottingham Forest. Headed away by John Humphrey. Shirtliff. Uh, 
thrash Liverpool. Charlton now find themselves in a winning position in the final. Shirtliff. Now, if they don't give the ball away, Charlton, there's every prospect that they're home and dry because Forrester having to just wait to get possession back and there can only be about a minute left. Bennett. Peak. Shirtliff. Humphrey. Still charging. Moving around. Forrest have just got Franz Carl left up front. They've just desperately got to win the ball back to try and create another chance for themselves. This is Lieburn. Shirtlift directing operations is a bit short for Humphrey and now Forrest are in. Great chance up front if they can find Carr. Team got back awfully quickly. Plus 30 seconds, Carr. Well, what a climax here to the Guinness Soccer Six final. Charlton Athletic 2-1 up against Nottingham Forest. Last 15 seconds. Oh, they're giving Boulder a bit of work to do there, his own players. And the spectators are counting down the seconds. Darren Wassell is the time for Forrest. Carr. It's all over. A smile on the face of Lenny Lawrence and his players. Peter Shirtliff leads Charlton Athletic to a trophy that they're quite delighted to have won. And what popular champions I think we're going to find they are, because Charlton went about this tournament in the right manner from the moment they arrived on the first day and they thoroughly deserve the reward which incidentally is over fifty thousand pounds in their case because they get thirty thousand pounds for winning tonight there was twenty one thousand pounds for their performance in the qualifying group and the playoff so there you are it's worth three home gates at Selhurst Park and don't forget Charlton are champions they were 3-0 down here tonight to Liverpool and beat them 6-3 and now in the final they've beaten Nottingham Forest 2-1 well done Lenny Lawrence the climax to a highly successful Guinness Soccer Six tournament for 1988 and there are the new champions